This is Scott with TutorialStop.com. We're going to colorize some line art. Here is a picture of a monkey that I drew and scanned in with a scanner. First thing I notice is it's an indexed image. And if I go up to my filters, you see I don't have any filters. And I'm really, um, I, I just need to change the mode of this image so I, I have more options because right now I'm very limited. So I'm going to go to image mode and change this to RGB. Usually, by the way, when you bring in a GIF image, it'll bring it in as an indexed image. And the first thing you want to do is change that mode to RGB. So now if, you, if I go up, you'll see all the filters. So what I'd like to do first is you're going to be using a lot of layers for this. So I'm going to go to my layers palette and I like to back up that background layer. So I'm going to drag out a duplicate of it just take this layer and drag out a duplicate onto the new layer icon so there's my background copy and I can um, hide the original background so I just click the eyeball to hide it now I'm going to make sure the background copy layer is selected I'm going to go get my magic wand tool and make sure you uncheck contiguous and click into the white area now you can see that it's selected all of the white pixels. Now let me show you what contiguous does. If I click on contiguous and click, it selects only those white pixels touching each other. And because there's more white pixels inside this black line, the black line is actually separating those white pixels, keeping them from being selected. So if you uncheck contiguous and click, it samples all the pixels in the entire project, just not those that are touching each other. I'm going to hit my delete key, and then I'm going to deselect by doing control D, command D on a Mac, and now I'm left with just my line art. I'm going to double click this background copy layer and I'm going to call it line art. Now I'm going to lock it. I'm going to come up and click this little lock because I don't want to accidentally erase or paint over that layer. So I just clicked on the little lock for the line art layer. Okay, now I'm ready to start painting. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this circle background. It's a good idea to get into the habit of naming your layers and I'm going to drag the circle background layer underneath the line art layer because I want the line art to be on top. I'm going to get my paintbrush. I'm going to get a nice hard brush. Click up here like this 19 will work just fine but you can see it's very small. So I'm going to increase the brush size. And what I'd like to do is paint this circle behind the monkey green. So I'm going to go to my light, my swatches palette and I'm just going to select this green color right here. You can see my foreground color is now green. I'm just going to click and then I'm going to readjust my paintbrush and click again and readjust. So I'm just filling in that circle. There we go. So I just filled in the entire circle with green. Next thing I'm going to do is start coloring the monkey. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this monkey fur. I'm going to go down and select a nice brown color. Dark brown will work just fine. I'm going to make sure my paintbrush is much smaller. And then I'm just going to start painting onto the monkey fur layer. Almost done. Now if you go off just a little bit, that's fine. We can go back later and clean that up. I'm going to come up here and paint this area as well. I'm not too worried about getting into the eyes. Now I am a little bit worried about getting onto that green circle because the green circle is behind this. I'll show you why I'm not too worried about getting onto the eyes here in just a minute. So there's the monkey fur layer. Now I'm going to do the uh, monkey face. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this a monkey face. I'm going to drag the monkey face layer above the monkey fur layer. Now I'm going to go with the monkey face, just kind of this light brown over here in my swatches palette. And I'm just going to paint. That's why right there you can see because the monkey face layer was above the monkey fur layer, I wasn't too worried about going over on that fur layer. It's real important that you keep each of the things that you're coloring on a different layer because you can go back and easily edit them. So I'm almost done. I'm just painting around here, almost done. Okay, good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this... Uh, uh, monkey monkey mouth. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'll call this monkey mouth. And that layer, I think I'm going to go with a uh, brownish color. I'm just going to paint this in. Again, I'm not too worried about going outside the lines, except for onto the face. 
but the nose you see I just painted right over not a big deal okay I'm being careful down below so that looks good um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in to the nose there's the nose and I'm gonna create a monkey nose layer double click it and monkey nose and if the monkey nose layer was placed somewhere else you can always drag it you want to drag that above the monkey mouth I'm gonna select a black color and my paintbrush tool and I'm just gonna paint in that monkey nose your left bracket key and your right bracket key can help you resize the brush left key makes it smaller right key makes it larger click on my zoom tool and I'm gonna hold down my alt key and you see the little minus sign appear and with each click it'll just zoom out so I'm almost done I'm gonna select my eyes and create a new layer I'm gonna call it monkey eyes double click that and I'm gonna select the white make white my foreground color you can click this to toggle it back and forth get your paintbrush make it a little bit smaller using your left bracket key and just color in those eyes almost done layers are very important in Photoshop okay there's monkey eyes create a new layer cause monkey or er, pupils there we go and I'm gonna switch this back to black get my paintbrush make it a little bit larger click click there's two monkey pupils I'm gonna switch back to my monkey face my monkey mouth because I see I didn't quite get it right in there I'm gonna get my eyedropper tool and select the mouth make sure the monkey mouth layer is selected go back to paintbrush just paint that over because that outline or our line arts the top layer I can do this without worrying about crossing onto that line very cool so I'm gonna get my zoom tool and now hold down my alt key again a little zo minus zoom and click a few times with the mouse almost done oh, I see a problem with the head right there so I'm gonna go to the uh, monkey fur layer get my eyedropper tool select the monkey fur make sure the monkey fur layer is selected make it maybe a little bit smaller paintbrush because of uh, oh, you know what's going on is the monkey face layer I went too far with the monkey face so I'm gonna go to the monkey face and get my eraser tool and just erase that there we go and I'll go to the monkey fur tool and I'll erase that oops didn't want to do that I actually wanted to paint on the monkey face so there's the monkey face get your uh, eyedropper tool and select that color paint tool and there we have it. we clean that up nicely so I'm gonna go back to my zoom tool hold down my alt key and click that a few times while holding down the alt key I'm gonna click on my background layer and create a new layer and I'll call this solid background I'm gonna select a lighter green kind of lime green and while solid background layer is selected I'm gonna hold down my alt key and hit backspace and that fills the uh, whatever current layer you're on with the foreground color the only thing left is I think I'm gonna go to my monkey fur layer and zoom in here and clean this up with the eraser tool get the eraser tool and just erase this because I went over a little bit oops undo that went a little too far there so in just a matter of a couple minutes you can really colorize your line art make some great projects you can see it didn't take me too long to colorize this monkey no there he is he's all done so I used many different layers in my layers palette and I can move these around delete them edit them without much problem very cool technique again this is Scott with tutorialstop.com